Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Gibran. I'm a partner at Realco Capital. We're a real estate brokerage and investment advisor here in Dubai. And uh, Seeking Dubai is our YouTube channel. This is where we often talk about Dubai real estate hotspots, offline opportunities, macro trends, and just give our commentary on the market. It's a great way for us to kind of stay in touch with the market and, and connect with people out there. And so, of course, if you ever want to collaborate with us or you have any requirements for a property in Dubai, please don't hesitate to reach us. We'd absolutely love to hear from you. So in today's video, we are talking about the townhouse market and we're going to talk about a couple of real estate hotspots uh, in, in the townhouse segment, which are Ilan, which is in Talal Gulf and Arabian Ranches 3. Uh, but the overall idea of this video is to kind of just give a, a broader perspective on what's happening in the townhouse market and some of the opportunities there. And, and, and the other idea for this video is actually to talk about why communities like this are, are doing so well. So one of the things that we can start off with is by uh, looking at the, the new uh, initiatives that have been launched by the Dubai government this week, which is to double their economy over the next 10 years. Some of these goals include becoming a top three financial center, tourist destination, and, and a global logistics hub as well. Uh, there's other initiatives like launching some of the world's biggest universities, you know, adding foreign cities to Dubai's foreign trade map. So these are lofty ambitions, but who's going to bet against Dubai getting there? They've been compounding for 30 years and uh, they have a huge advantage when it comes to their regional competitors. But in order to achieve these kind of goals, Dubai is going to need a lot more people. And in order to attract more people, one of the challenges is to retain uh, housing supply and, and to retain affordability as well. And that's one of the reasons we're looking at the townhouse market is because that is some of the best value that you can buy in Dubai today. And if you're looking at your screen right now, this is showing you the suburbs of Dubai. This is where the majority of Dubai's townhouse communities are located. And everything that is labeled in green are ready, ready townhouse communities. All of these communities have almost 99% occupancy rates. The rentals have gone up considerably as has been well documented. And, and there's a constant stream of people who are moving to the city and also people who, who live here in Dubai who want to move into communities like this, which offer a better lifestyle as well. So uh, everything in green is a ready community. So this is where you can go and buy a house right now and move in if you can find one. So the challenges are that there's less supply. A lot of options are rented long term. Uh, and so there are frustrations in that market. And because of those challenges, then people obviously look at the off-plan resale or the primary off-plan market. Uh, and so everything that you're screen on your screen right now in orange is, is supply that's going to be handed over in 2023. Uh, so this is much needed new supply. And as soon as it enters into the market, you're going to see that in just a short period of time, these communities are going to be almost 100% occupied. So this, the projects that we're kind of going to focus on today are Arabian Righteous 3 and Ilan, which is in Talal al -Ghaf. And so these are two communities that were launched back in 2018 and 2019 in different market conditions. At that time, I remember that you know people were talking about Dubai having too much supply. Obviously, the market had started slowing down from the 2014-2015 peak. And then these new projects were coming online and people were saying there's going to be too much supply in Dubai as always. But if you ignored the noise and you purchased here, you have done exceptionally well. And we'll, we'll talk about the economics of that in just a second. Uh, so now let's kind of look at these projects in a bit more detail and, and just explore like what's going on. So the first one we can look at is the Talal Gulf Master Plan. This is this is one of the Bay's hottest communities. It is dwelt by Majid al Fatham Group and it has been so built in in various stages. So the first stage of that project was over here. This is the Elan townhouses. This is what we're really talking about today. And so back in 2019, before the pandemic, three phases of these townhouses were launched. Uh, and if you kind of zoom into it, you'll get a better idea of like what's going on over here. So all the middle houses are three bedrooms. The corner ones are four bedroom units. And uh, after after these Elan townhouses were sold out, then the rest of the master plan has, has also been launched. So then we have the Harmony Villas, these are high-end four, five, and six-bedroom villas. And then we have uh, the Aura townhouses, which were exactly the same as the Elan ones, but with slightly higher price points. And then everything that I'm circling here is the luxury parts of the community. And they have also all been launched and sold out. And some of the Dubai's most expensive houses are being built over here. So with Elan, the first handovers are going to start shortly. And uh, so this is an area which is seeing a lot of transactions as handovers have approached. So if you want to buy a three or four bedroom townhouse in these two communities, which are handing over now, which is Ranches 3 and Ilan, uh, you know, these are the options you have. So you both communities have three and four bedroom townhouses. You can compare built up areas and plot sizes, which are quite similar. And in terms of prices, three bedroom townhouses are between two to 2.2 million. Four bedroom townhouses now start from around 2.6 onwards. Uh, and then with Sun, which is the first phase of Ranches 3 handing over now, uh, you can already see that owners have started putting their properties out for rent. And this is the kind of rentals you're going to see, which means you're yielding at least five and a half and above, five and a half percent and above 
which is pretty healthy. And in terms of per square foot prices, you're looking at anywhere between 1,000 to 1,150 per square foot. One of the biggest advantages of both these communities is that when they were launched in softer market conditions, the developers offered an incentive like a post handover payment plan. That's not something you can get easily now, except for in South Bay and Dubai South. So over here, you have 40% payable over three years after the handover. So. So in this chart over here, we can kind of see how the prices have evolved. So with Elan and Sun, uh, prices started from 1.3 to 1.45 million in 2018, 2019. And then we kind of chugged along, we had the pandemic, and then starting in 2021, we saw the first transactions happen on a premium. And then as handovers have approached, the premiums have risen, and currently prices are at between 2 to 2.2 million, and very, very hard to find anything that comes out below 2 million. That, that would be considered an amazing deal. So now that the handovers have approached, the buyer pool has also increased and because it, a, a off land property cannot be mortgaged, so once a property gets a handover notice, the mortgage buyers can step in and purchase here. And then if you're looking at this, this little chart here, this is showing you how the economics of either buying or selling a lawn townhouse. So from a buyer's perspective, uh, if you're looking at a three bedroom townhouse in a lawn, which has a price of say 2.1 million, if you want to purchase it right now, you would just need to pay 1.53 million right now to transfer it into your name. That includes all the closing costs. And then this is how your payments would be for the next three years. Uh, and then in the flip side, if you're looking to sell it, uh, at 2.1 million, these properties are 50% paid and the original prices were around, let's say around 1.4 million. So you paid around 700,000 now, your profit's about 700,000, so you're looking at 100% ROI in four years, so that's about 25% a year. And so the people that are actually buying it from you, they're not speculators, they're not buying it just on the hopes of the prices going up, that's not what's happening in the market right now. These are all end user communities, and even from the selling perspective, even with these kind of profits, a lot of owners are not selling. Uh, a, because you're going to have challenges uh, with what to do with the cash if, if you sell in the first place. And then the second thing is a lot of people who purchase here are end users themselves and they're going to be moving into the property. So there's not that many options to purchase right now in the market. Uh, and, and, and that is one of the reasons that even at these kind of price points, you're not seeing a lot of exits and owners are even asking for much higher price points. And if you're looking at this chart over here, this is actually giving you a comparison of four bedroom townhouses in various communities of the Bay. Some of them are ready and some of them will hand over in 2024, 2025. Uh, and so we've kind of highlighted Sun and Ilan over here. In these communities, you're looking at prices of 1,000 to 1,150 per square foot. And if you compare that to say a community like Maple, which is Dubai's hottest development, I think in terms of being in part of Dubai Hills, you're looking at prices around 1500 to 1650 per square foot. So it's one of the most expensive areas to buy a high-end townhouse. Uh, and then we have Mira, which is around 1,050. Nishama is mid-end, so you're looking at around 880 to 1,000 dirhams per square foot. And it's very good to kind of compare plot sizes and built-up areas. And some of the other notable projects we can kind of compare with is like Muruj al Furjan, which offers incredible value. That's handing over in 2024. And over here, you can see prices of around 850 to 900 per square foot. Uh, if you look at Jebel Ali Village, you can see in terms of built-up areas and plot sizes, they are far larger and this project's in the most prime location, bang on Sheikh Zayed Road, which is a very niche community. And over here, you're looking at prices of around 1,050 to 1,100 per square foot on the secondary market. So that's really good value. And then if we look at the Mock Lagoons, that's a project a lot of people have been talking about. And so projects that were launched in the previous phases uh, and on the resale market currently around 800 to 850 per square foot. If you look at the new phase of Ibiza, uh, that is around 925 per square foot. And then we can also see some of the luxury projects launched in, uh, in Muhammad bin Rashid city where townhouses are selling for between 1200 to 1550 per square foot. So there's different types of projects out there. And if you wanted to understand that in more detail, also look at the chart for the three bedroom townhouse, pro uh, three bedroom townhouse comparison, please don't hesitate to reach us. You know, we'd love to give you more detailed information and kind of guide you through this process help you see some more houses out there if, you, if that's something that you require to be done. And now let's look at the second project in a bit more detail, which is Arabian Ranches 3. So over here, if you're looking at the satellite imagery, uh, these are the three phases which are handing over now. This is called Sun, Joy, and Spring. And uh, so the first handovers have started in Sun and people are gonna start moving in in January. So there's much more modern elements in play here in terms of facilities and facades of the communities and, and improvements to some of the older developments that Imar have previously made. So, and if you're looking at the overall master plan of Arabian Ranches 3, everything that I'm highlighting right now has been launched and sold and is in various stages of construction. And just two days ago, Imar announced uh, another townhouse phase here, which is called Anya. 
And Anya also has the similar type of three and four bedroom townhouses that you've seen in Sun Joy, Spring, Ruba. But over here, prices have of course gone up to reflect current market conditions. And uh, there, this, this Anya phase actually has about 400 townhouses. There's three different facades that you can choose from. There's a lot of facilities. Uh, and three bedroom townhouses will start for around two, 2.1 million. Four bedroom townhouses will start for around 2.5 to 2.6 million. And sales are actually gonna start in the next 24 hours. So if this is something that you'd like to learn more about, Please don't hesitate to reach us. So the payment plan for this project is 10% down. There's a three-year payment plan and you're going to be paying 20% on completion. So that's a quick summary of what's going on in the townhouse market and two real estate hotspots to look out for in the next few months. So, uh, and of course, if you would like to get more information and compare some of these projects, look at our offline options uh, in a bit more detail, more feasibilities, please don't hesitate to reach us. We would love to hear from you. So thank you for watching this video and take care. Thank you.